shocking amount of arrests and people who were kicked out the Waste Management Open has been revealed. And the figures have been released by the local police force. Now, I'm absolutely astounded. Well, I say I'm astounded. I'm not astounded because I saw what was going on. And two days ago, I released a video of the absolute mayhem that was taking place during the event. Now, just to cast your mind back, we had a guy taking a wig. We had fights, people sliding down on their belly during events. Billy Horschel getting abused. Zach Johnson, Ryder Cup captain, getting abused because of his Ryder Cup captaincy supposed mistakes at the Marco Simone golf course last year. Jordan Spieth, another person got ejected because he was getting abused. It was absolutely, well, in my mind, ridiculous. But one thing that I found really strange was you, a lot of you were saying this is what golf needed to take golf into sort of more of a, a modern era and bring it to a more mainstream audience. Now, 100%, I am all for that, but not at the expense of upsetting players, not at the expense of, I don't know, losing the values of golf. Because what I saw here was something that wouldn't be tolerated at any sporting event, not just a golf event. So I'm just sort of discounting the fact that this is a golf event. This wouldn't even be tolerated at any sporting event. Okay, so... Let's go through the figures. So I, I said here, right, it's more than doubled the amount of people who have been arrested at the event this year. But that figure doesn't really shock me. What shocks me is the trend. So let's go through this here. So according to Scottsdale Police, a total of 54 fans were arrested during the Phoenix Open in 2024. Now on top of those arrests, there were records here. 211 golfers were kicked out of TPC Scottsdale, which is more than double what we had last year. 54 arrested, 211 golfers kicked out. Now, I want you to look at these trends over the last three years. So 2022, 2023, and 2024, okay? So we're going to go through four categories here. Calls for service, arrests, ejections, and trespassers. Now, as I'm going through this, as I always say with these videos, as much as this is breaking news, I want you to get down in the comments and let me know what you think. The question I pose to you right now before going through these figures, has the waste management gone too far? Has it become too party that we just sort of need to rein it back slightly? Now, I'm all for the party atmosphere. I'm all for the 16th. But I just, as I keep saying, right, this wouldn't be acceptable at any sporting event. So calls for service in 2022, I'm guessing this is calls to the police, was 440. In 2023, it was 558. And in 2024, it was 653. Now look at the trend. Where does this stop? That's what I think. Going on to arrests, in 2022, there were none. In 2023, there were 18. And in 2024, as I said, there was 54 look at the trend. It's more than doubled this year. Ejections in 2022, there was 90. 2023, there was 102. And 2024, there was 211. Just look at how these trends are going. Trespassers. Now, before we go into this one, what do you make of these figures so far? They're scary to me because if we carry on at this rate, we're going to be looking at 800 people call, 800 calls for service, looking at maybe 100 arrests, 400 people having to be kicked out. It's shocking. It really, really is. If this happened at a football event, well, it wouldn't, I don't think. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It would be in mainstream news. That's what I would say. It would be in mainstream news. So, trespassers. 2022, we had 14. 2023, we had 41. And in 2024, there were 73. There's only one way this curve is going. Now, the mayor, Mayor Ortega, did have something to say about this. And this is the statement that he released. The Phoenix Open has had an outstanding reputation as a successful attraction for millions of fans over the last 37 years to Scottsdale. With our unruly behavior that we witnessed last week, I am confident that the Thunderbirds are committed to make the necessary changes so that the next Open is safe and enjoyable for all. 
Well, I think something does have to change. How they do this, I don't know, because there is a fine line between this party atmosphere that people want to come to and, I guess, not getting it, not letting it get too out of hand. We also heard that people refused entry and they had to stop serving alcohol at some point during the event. I've also heard rumours that Jay Monaghan is on the fence about extending the contract for this event. I honestly think that would be a mistake. We've got to keep the event. We've just got to find a way of finding that balance between it getting absolutely out of hand and people having a good time. Now, I appreciate that is very hard to find, but these figures the way they are is absolutely ridiculous. So that's today's breaking news within the golf industry. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell so you can keep up to date with exactly what's going on within the industry.